moment of your time, if I might. I've shared with some the story uh, when I was at a little country parish, well, Flaherty, St. Martin of Tours, the real St. Martin of Tours, by the way, the one downtown is a fake one. The one the real St. Martin's is out in Flaherty, Kentucky, original one. Anyway, one of the ladies there would come to me every about once every three months, and she would get me to bless some candles and give her some holy water. I bless, and I'm fine, sure. And then one day I just said, now listen, uh, she quit asking me for this for about two months. And I said, what, what's going on? She said, well, she said, Father, to be honest, she said, well, uh, Flaherty, by the way, is right in the middle of that trough where all the storms come through. If there's going to be any bad weather in Louisville, they get it first. And she said, whenever the bad weather was broad, uh, forecast, she said, I would, you know, light the candles, bless candles and put them around the house. And I would sprinkle the house with holy water. But she said, one day I sprinkled the house with holy water and I was carrying the lit candle to place in the windowsill and I slipped on the holy water and went down and landed on my rear end. And she said, that, at that moment, God spoke to me and said, why are you putting your faith in blessed candles and water? Put your faith in me. And she never asked for another candle or holy water after that. Okay. There's a lesson to be learned there. Um, sacramentals and uh, blessed waters and uh, holy water and candles and medals and medallions and uh, scapulars and all that, they're, they're good and holy things, but they can be problematic if we look upon them as like a talisman against bad luck or something of this nature. The main key for my message today and for the, uh, for the readings today is one of faith. It takes faith to see God at work in our hearts. It takes faith to see the healing. It takes faith to see the salvation offered to us, huh? Our brothers and sisters in the Reformation were yes and no, right and wrong, when they said, uh, they put out the, uh, the statement, sola fide, only faith is important. Well, yes, if you're talking about, since they mentioned Latin, uh, if you're talking about the fides qua, the act of faith is very important. But we say the fides que, that which you believe, the substance of what you believe is just as important. And there's where we differ. But still, faith is important. In fact, you get to the gospel, even though Jesus doesn't do it in this version, uh, almost every version of when Jesus heals someone, what does he say? Your faith has saved you. Faith is important, gang. One of the cardinal virtues, huh? faith, hope, and love, etc. Uh, but faith is important because without it, we can't have any of the other aspects of our faith and tradition.